Do you want to transform this feeling of not being good enough as a mom or working woman? Today I'm going to focus on this negative, self-limiting belief of not being good enough in what we do, no matter at home or at work. Hi there, Mama. Are you searching for another way to approach motherhood? One that puts your needs first? That allows you to live it all without guilt or holding back any of your amazing talents and unique gifts? Then the Live It All Mommy podcast is made for you. Each month we are taking you behind the scenes, looking into the real world of motherhood, giving you a roadmap to unleash your unique potential, your passion, self-trust and purpose as an amazing mother, deep soul and powerful working woman. It's time to live it all, mommy. Let's dive in. Let me share some experiences I recently made regarding this topic of not being good enough. I'm just back from an early childhood conference in Denver where I was invited to speak about how our mindset affects children's healthy development. And one of my first questions was, how many of you have internalized the self-belief of not being good enough? And nearly everyone in the audience raised their hand immediately. Another impressive but also understandable result I've seen through our parenting quiz that we are offering on beginningwell.com, where one question is, how many of you as parents or professional caregivers feel like an inadequate person? And the result shows that over 91% feel inadequate while caring for children. So what can we learn from those results is one question. And the other question, how can we transform this self-limiting belief into something that helps us to best care for the child and also to feel good about ourselves? So the first question, what can we learn about that is that obviously most of us have developed this negative belief about themselves at some stage in their life. And my theory about it is that we all come to this earth for a reason. We all come to this earth for a calling, a purpose. And if we make at an early stage the experience that the way we are isn't appropriate, that we have to do things differently, that we are not seen or welcomed or accepted the way we are, then we internalize the negative belief about ourselves that we aren't good enough as we are, that we have to work harder is then something we develop, we take out of it. And that leads us to the misconception that we can't trust ourselves, We lose the confidence in our own potential. And the more we lose the confidence in ourselves, the less we can see what we are actually capable of. The less we see how good we actually are. And I'm not saying that we have to run into the world and saying everyone, I'm the best, I'm the best. It's not about that. It is about changing our mindset. It is about using our mind in a way that our mind supports us, works for us, rather than against us. And as a hypnotherapist, I know that our mind, our subconscious mind, really believes what we are saying to us. So if we keep telling us we are not good enough, then our emotions, our actions, etc., our habits, they all are built on our self-belief. So if we want to change our well-being, which, of course, affects the development of the young child. So if we want to change our well-being, then we have to change our mindset. Then we have to change the beliefs about ourselves. So today, 
I invite you to rethink about yourself in a way that you can come to feel more comfortable, to a place where you feel more comfortable, to a place where you feel confident. Because if we are telling ourselves of not being good enough, mostly we are not aware of what's going on inside. So the first step is to pay more conscious attention to how we feel. And if we are in this mindset of not being good enough, we don't feel secure. And if we look from a place where we don't feel secure at the world around them, it's more likely that things are happening us. So the first and most important thing is that we bring ourselves back to a place of comfort, confidence, trust and safety. Because when we feel safe, then we can look at things differently. Our brain can function differently and we can see the beauty rather than being in a state where we have to protect ourselves. And I want to share a very personal example. I became a feedback from a lecture I was holding a while ago. And one question of the feedback was, would you recommend this session to a friend or colleague? And 79% answered with yes. But I was focusing on the 21%. I was terrified that 21% didn't like what I was doing, what I was offering, what I was saying. So rather than being stressed out by the numbers, I've done a little experiment to bring myself back to a state of inner calmness and safety. And when I was at a place where I felt safe, then I was able to look at the numbers in a way that I thought, oh, that's Good to know. So what do the 21% need to really get something out of the lesson? And also, great, 79%, nearly 80% liked what I was saying and not only liked what I was saying, but obviously could take something for their daily life or their work out of it. So I want to invite you now to a simple practice that you can take every time during your day when you notice that your mindset shifts into a place of not feeling good enough, which always goes along with feeling somehow insecure and which somehow feels unsecure and frightening. And it is just a beautiful invitation to come back to our calm center. So every time... We are in a state of not feeling good enough. It is our job to calm our mind and to come back to a state of inner safety. And that's what I'm going to invite you now. So close your eyes if that's possible. If not, just, or if it doesn't feel comfortable, just keep your gaze soft. There is nothing to see right now. And tell yourself, I am a courageous woman. I am a mindful mother. I am a caring and loving person. I am a multi-talented woman. I am open-hearted. I am open-minded. I am unique. I am on this earth with unique potentials and unique gifts. I am passionate. I am powerful. I am delightful. I am sensitive, gentle, vulnerable, I'm creative, I'm brave. And before you open your eyes, sense how you feel when telling yourself or when hearing words that describe your beautiful self. Sense this growing feeling of comfort, confidence, and calmness and relaxation. And if we are in this state of well-being, then we feel more able to handle whatever it is that happens in the outside world. 
And to come back to my experience, when I am in this state of inner comfort and I'm looking at the feedback of others, then I'm able to grow beyond my limitations, beyond my fears and my self-doubt. And our mind needs reminder. So it is really about practicing this positive self-belief every day. And it's not about telling us a lie. It is about focusing on what we are capable of. And of course, we have to find our own words. So what I'm offering you are some examples and you should pick what feels most true for you. Pick three or four words that best describe your beautiful self. Maybe it is courageous, mindful, caring, multi-talented, powerful mom, maybe working woman, creative, brave, passionate, delightful, sensitive, gentle. Pick three words that best describe you to change your negative self-belief of not being good enough. You are amazing. You are divine. And it is not only that you are amazing. You are very talented, delightful and divine. And your child and the world needs your amazing potential and gifts. So for today, I really want you to practice to say those empowering words to yourself at least once a day, if not more often, to transform the internalized self-limiting belief of not being good enough that keeps you stuck, that holds you back, that keeps you small, that keeps you hiding, so transform your mindset to thrive into the being you are, to thrive into your true self. And you are here for a reason, for a purpose. So transform your self-limiting beliefs to let your true gifts shine. And if you are a parent who wants to find relief from self-limiting beliefs such as I'm not good enough, transform feelings of anxiety, guilt or shame, who wants to learn proven tools to heal attachment issues or remove the daily power struggles with their child, then you have come to the right place. I'm here for you, and so is a community of loving and like-minded parents that understand what you are going through. Head over to my webpage, beginningwell.com, and save your spot at my Parent Relief Membership today. I have already helped hundreds of parents and families to take control of their own well-being, to thrive into fulfillment and joy after only a few sessions. With the right guidance, you can easily become more patient and better understand your own reactions, your trigger points and the inner wounds that have consumed your life energy maybe for decades. My promise to you I will guide you to feel more connected with your own unique potential, your inner calm and wisdom as an amazing parent and powerful woman. Head over to my webpage beginningwell.com and join our Parent Relief Membership. We have limited spots available, so take actions today.